Hello, and welcome to one of a series of educational videos from BizNet Software. Today, we're going to show you how to take an FRX report and migrate it to BizNet's BizInsight in four easy steps. Now, those steps are going to consist of, one, copying your FRX row format. Two, we're going to insert some BizNet functions. Three, we're going to link those functions to your accounts. And four, we're going to format your report. So, the first step in the process is that we open up FRX and we open up a row format. Now what you're going to see is I'm going to slide down here and select one of my row formats. Once I open it up, all I need to do is highlight the entire range. So as you can see here, I'm going to go highlight the range and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select copy and now I'm going to go to Excel and I'm going to right click and paste. Now we're going to clean this up a little bit because there's a lot of areas that we don't need anymore. So let me go to the first column. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to delete a couple of these other columns here as well. Now with BizNet what we're going to do before we insert functions is we're going to add a company code so let me insert that up here we're going to insert a year and we're going to insert a period now what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin to insert BizNet functions so I'm going to select this from the left hand side which this is from BizNet and you can see that is a month to date net function and it opened up a function dialog box and what you see here hear me doing is that I'm answering questions about the information that I need in order to pull back the correct information so I inputted my company code my year and period and now I'm going to go to and insert the segment the natural account that I have here now you can see I did a little bit of anchoring there and since this is a typical credit balance, we're going to reverse the sign by multiplying negative 1. Now, I can copy this down before I do a little formatting here. And now I'm going to begin to copy this as well down to the other cells. Let me lengthen this out a little bit. And now I get down here to my SG&A account. And these are typically debit, so I don't need to reverse the sign. So I'm going to again copy these down and now this is where I'm going to begin to link the functions to accounts and we did it above but this is specific to the FRX users where what we showed you here was a wild card. The next one we're going to show you is how to do a high low range or range of accounts. So we're going to insert the lower end and then we have the higher end and all we have to do is again open up the function and we're going to slide down and we're going to again select a cell but instead of selecting one cell we're going to select both cells and what this does is it indicates to us that this is a range of accounts and the last piece we're going to show you is a discrete list of accounts now we could have put this anywhere on the spreadsheet but what we decided to do is to show this to the left hand side to best demonstrate how these listing capabilities work so what we do here again to keep it very simple and easy for everybody to understand all we have to do is again go down here and instead of selecting one I'm going to select three and what this does is tell the system to pull all three accounts again we'll do a little anchoring here now the true power of BizNet is the fact that we just showed you how to build this income statement and it is now connected real time to the data by simply changing a period you can see that the numbers changed instantaneously Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hide these columns and we're going to begin to format our report now the beauty of using BizNet is the fact that I can use hundred percent of my Excel formatting capabilities so you can see here I can use my auto sum I can add borders I can move descriptions around I can delete columns I can delete rows I can use Excel formulas that I've used every day and again you can see here just adding simple formulas here again adding some borders 
I'm going to delete a couple of rows here. So what I'm going to do is finish formatting this up very quickly. And clearly you can make much more extensive formatting, font changes, colors, etc., etc. But in the interest of time, we're just going to clean this up a little bit, move things around. We're going to delete a couple of rows here. And we're going to add one more formula. So let me add this formula very quick. Now, to reinforce the fact that this is 100% integrated, what we're going to do is take this one period and make it a six-month financial statement by simply dragging and dropping. As you can see here, all the numbers change because it is 100% integrated. Now, one last thing we want to show you. We're going to clean this up. Uh, you know, add a couple more things to highlight some bolding here. But we also want to show you from the fact that as we were building this report, we also automatically incorporated drill down. So what I'm going to do is pick one of these cells. I'm going to right click. And we picked the one we had a range of accounts on. And I'm going to drill down. And as you can see here, that I drilled down and had the exact dollar amount. Now this concludes our video for today. Now if you're interested in learning about the extended capabilities of BizNet Software, please visit our website at biznetsoftware.com, call us, or email us at bizsales at biznetsoftware.com. We thank you for your time and we look forward to hearing from you.